we will be back on ribbon info and options here once uh, the printer will have a YMCKI ribbon I for inhibitor. Here again you will be able to play where and how you wish to apply the inhibitor. So for the time being with my YMCKK ribbon let's leave it like that. If you do have a uh, lamination printer you will have here some information telling you for example which kind of ribbon you have on top laminate and uh, or the bottom laminate and for the lamination mode here you will be able to select if you wish to laminate double side, laminate uh, single side, if you want to laminate top or bottom only, whatever. Quick way to adapt a little bit the printed image to what you see on your monitor will be to use image control. Then for brightness, contrast, okay, the red and green and blue, you can select here the slider and when you move the slider you can see on the preview image what the effect is of moving the slider. So this again it's up to you, up to your customer and if you are a little bit lost just click on restore default here. Sharpening filter which has no effect on the preview is basically uh, depending on the quality of the image. Leave it in normal but if you have an image which is not that good then you might try to play here on non low and high and have probably a, a correction of the image you are sending uh, to uh, the printer. This here goes in parallel with color management here from the driver. So here I am on disable color matching profile. If I have a color profile I click here use it and then I will have to go on color management, select manual, click add point where my color profile is, click on apply evidently and OK and then every time I am going to print I will use now this color matching profile. If not again leave it on disable. Last point here will be here for monochrome only where you have a couple of choices between aero diffusion, half toning, auditor pure black and white. By default it's on diffusion. Well depending uh, if you do have a gray image, if you have a text or something like that, you might play a little bit there to have a smoother image. That probably works better for um, backward probably and also if you have a gray image, not really for text. Text usually is pure black. So just click on OK over here. If you want to go back to manufacturing default, just click on restore default here. When you are set up here, which means you select your card and um, your profile and uh, whatever you wish here, it's very important to click on apply and also on OK. If you do not click on both then uh, you might not take those values as a printing default. Before we go back to custom mode here let's go on encoding. So encoding here it's only if you have selected a card with a magnetic stripe. So which is the case here. So you can go on encoding. You can here select to disable it which is okay. I would say probably not the point if you want to encode to disable it. If you do have a job which requires only to encode, for example you have pre-printed card, you can select here encode only and so the printer will just encode. And something which is probably uh, better to leave it, it's uh, to tick on the magnetic encoder verification, which means that every time you are going to encode, the printer will read back the information you just encoded and verify if it matches what it should have encoded. So that's a safe way to be sure that the encoding is correct. It takes probably half a second more but it's more secure. Magnetic encoding you can select here if you want uh, ISO or American uh, motor vehicle or in a custom mode leave it on ISO. As you can see here coercivity high you cannot change it here. 
for this is not changeable in this tab is changeable in the card setup card selection same if you would have a uh, smart card encoding contactless or contact you will be able here to disable it or uh, look <coughs> how you want to encode black panel optimization leave it on mixed but again depending if you have a card with a lot of uh, text or barcode or pictures okay with the black you can select one of those three other possibilities for the front side or for the back side this is just to i would say improve probably a little bit the uh, the black information last tab is about which is going to give you the driver version you are having on your uh, you have on your uh, pc so presently 0201.00 if you have a look on the uh, zebra.com website you can check if the driver you have is the latest one or not if not you can just uh, upgrade your driver very important to know you cannot upgrade a driver on an existing driver on your pc if you wish to upgrade a driver you will need to go on start settings control panel add or remove and then uh, once it has been uh, populated okay click on uh, the uh, zxp driver click to remove it reboot your pc and after reboot install the new p the new driver 